<laughs> G'day and welcome to UAV Futures. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Mobius mount out of just a flat sheet of aluminium and maybe a little rivet or something to hold it together. I've tried foam, uh, plastic, a whole bunch of things and really I found this has been the best solution. It's strong, it's light, um, and I don't have to worry about those little vibration dampener bobble, bobbly things that sort of really annoy me when I have to sit there and try and fiddle and put them back in. So I'll show you how. Alright, so this mount is really simple. All you've got to do is make a few, a few, a little few marks. There's one at about, depending on what angle you want, one at about two and a half centimetres, then one about five centimetres, six centimetres, and then just another two and a half centimeters. So probably there. All right, we'll cut it up and then we're gonna fold the little pieces together. So I'm just using some tin snips. Um, you could probably find some other things. This aluminium is not really too difficult to cut and that's really the only cut that you need to do cut this up using tin snips and now I'm just going to fold all these little marks inwards and I'll be back when that's done I'll show you what it looks like all right so I started to fold all these things together one side because it was about a centimeter longer this one here is your I guess you call it your hypotenuse is a little bit longer so you should be able to go like this and then with a little bit of uh, force and I'm going to put a little hole in here and pop rivet together, you should have a nice Mobius mount. This is it finished on my ZMR and you can see I've got the little rivet in here to hold it together and I've just bolted it straight onto the frame uh, using this little bolt just here to drill a hole in the actual top of the ZMR. This is my old Mobius mount that was made out of foam and plastic and you can see it's basically useless, it's just pointing at the ground and it was really hard to get the right angle on it and just really annoying. With the new mount, I found that the picture was framed a lot better and it makes it much more enjoyable for the audience. Ooh, they're nice air gates. How do you make those? One thing I was concerned about was a bit of vibration in uh, punch outs or if I'm going at high speed because there's no vibration dampeners and it's just bolted straight onto the frame. This is a bit of a trade off though because one good thing about not having vibration dampeners is that it's really strong and you don't have to worry about putting them back in when you crash. I did a little experiment where I made a mount that was angled but also had a vibration dampener installed. It was a fun little experiment but to be honest I'm not too sure how much it helped. I had a little crash up here and the vibration dampener made it significantly weaker. So for me I'm just going to stick to the mount where it's bolted straight to the frame without a vibration dampener. And to be honest those little things, those grommets I find really annoying trying to stick them back in those holes anyway. For more FPV related content, please subscribe and as always, happy flying!